So um, here in the United States, there's about three to four million people that are currently infected with hepatitis C. And about 75% of those people have no idea that they are walking around with um, a virus that could potentially um, do serious damage to the liver. Um, and so the CDC last year in August uh, issued guidelines around testing or screening for hepatitis C. And the guidelines said that about um, that a hepatitis C test should be offered to anyone born between 1945 and 1965, um, at least once you know, in their lifetime. Because the majority of folks that, are hep- that do have hepatitis C are, in fact, baby boomers. And so um, and it's really important because, you know, it takes about 30 years or so for hepatitis C to do serious damage to the liver. And um, so they're right at that threshold where they can, you know, they're at risk of, of dying from liver cancer. And so, um, you know, with the new treatments that are coming down the pipeline, they can, they can offer about 100% cure rates for people who have hepatitis C um, and even chronic hepatitis C. And so it's really important that folks within that birth cohort get tested for hepatitis C. Um, And here in New York, what we did, uh, because New York happens to be the epicenter for hepatitis C, is we worked really, really hard um, with our state legislators, both on the Republican and Democratic side, to have uh, legislation passed around uh, testing for baby boomers. And so we were really very successful um, and having it passed in both our Assembly House and our Senate House. And so now we're just waiting on our governor to sign that bill into law. And essentially what it means is that if anyone presents, anyone born between 1945 and 1965, if they present um, at their primary care physician, um, that the physician should in fact offer them a hepatitis C test. And if they say yes, then um, they'll be giving the 20 minute rapid test. Um, and if they uh, show that there are antibodies, then they'll have a lab test and be able to be linked to care and treatment for hepatitis. And so it's really, really important. And um, and the one good thing about about this legislation is that, unlike HIV, when you you know when you test positive for it, there are medications that could potentially cure you of that disease. Um, and the medications now that are being offered are interferon free, and so it means that there won't be. Um, that weekly injection, and it's going to be all oral, and it's going to be um, a much shorter duration in terms of treatment. So, um, so yeah, it's really important for folks to, to get tested, um, know the status of their liver health, and then be able to make treatment options based on where they are in that disease.